So welcome everybody. Um, today we're going to be looking at these different products and see if they actually can get the carbon off of some valves on an engine that I'm rebuilding. Um, I am rebuilding an M52 engine here. If you're interested in that kind of stuff, if you're interested in the rebuild process of an M52 engine, um, check out my other videos. Uh, but for today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna test out these different products that I have lying around the house and see if they actually can burn the carbon off a valve if you, if you set them in there for 24 hours, 48 hours. So our test subjects here are um, some valves from an N52 B25 BMW engine. Um, as you can see, they're all pretty badly carboned up. I mean, like there's some thick, thick coating of carbon on there. It is on there pretty tough. I kind of took a screwdriver to it and it did not come off. Um, before, I was going to kind of grind these valves down and clean them up, but I decided, you know what, hey, let's try and figure out if any of these household products will actually dissolve this carbon for us. So the process is going to be like this. What we're going to do is we're, we're going to take um, one of these valves. I'm just going to put um, piston number five and then whatever it is we're going to put this into just so that I don't lose it. So we have piston number five. And then we're going to put um, the first one up is a grill cleaner for cleaning carbon off a grill. And we're going to keep going down the line and do this for the rest of the valves. And we're going to set it up on the shelf and wait 24 hours, take a look, maybe wait 48 hours, take another look and away we'll go. All right, there's the grill stuff. Done. Let's make sure that valve is nicely coated. Yeah. And we're going to put this on the shelf and move on to the next one. Again, this is just some household cleaner I had laying around. It's for kitchens. It's a multi um, grease uh, cleaner. So we're going to try this one next. The next one we're gonna do is this anti-carbon um, stuff. You can buy this for like 10 bucks a pack. It talks about um, being able to like unseize rings and whatever, decarbonize your, your piston rings. If you watched in the other videos, I have a whole series on trying to unstick my piston rings in my BMW N52. I'll also link those down below. I tried this and well, you'll have to go to the video to see if it actually works. So let's see if this actually dissolves any carbon. Interesting. It's like a little red liquid. Okay. All right. Anti-carbon ready to go. Next we have some Castrol ATF. Um, people say that, oh yeah, ATF will burn carbon off your rings, all that stuff. Well, that didn't work. So let's just see if it does burn any carbon at all. Um, we should see some slight discoloration if it, if it is doing anything. Let me just mark this down. This is piston four two four two. Let's take that one out. Stick that in there. And ETF done. Next one I had laying around is some brake fluid here. Some people say that brake fluid also is very corrosive. Well, can it corrode carbon? Let's find out. Just put a little bit in there. And this one is piston 3-1. All right. Brake fluid, ready to go. Now this one's gonna be quite interesting. Now, seafoam motor treatment, you know, it's a fuel injector cleaner, but, um, you know, it says it cleans injectors, stabilizes fuels, cleans deposits, um, all that stuff. You know, seafoam is supposed to be able to, you know, do everything. It's a, it's a fuel injector cleaner. It's, um, it, it cleans out your engine. You can put it in the crankcase, stabilizes your fuel. So let's actually see if this has any power to dissolve some carbon on some valves. It's 
clear. Honestly, that smells like um, really powerful cleaning agents. What does that smell like? I've smelled that before. Hmm, that's all good. Let's just move on with this. This is three, two. A little bit of bubbling already. A little bit of bubbling already happening in there. Just a little bit. Next one we have here is a liquid molly fuel injector. It claims that, you know, it cleans um, out your fuel injector and it can clean uh, carbon off valves. And now that I'm holding this, I wish I had some gasoline to be able to compare this against because, you know, fuel that goes in on the intake side of the, the engine, the fuel, um, the, the injector is before the, the intake valve and the intake valves are all nice and clean on this engine. Um, that's not the case on the N54s, which get really dirty. Anyway, let's put some fuel injector cleaner in here and test it out. Yeah, it smells like kind of gasoline and water almost, weird. All right, and this one was piston two, valve one. Tiny, tiny bit of bubbling in there, but nothing significant. So now, liquid molly engine flush. Um, this stuff you put in your engine, run it for 5-10 minutes um, at idle, and then drain your oil right when you're about to do your oil change. You know, it claims to clean your engine. Oh my goodness, that's some fine print there. Let me try and read it. Um, engine flush removes deposits, residues, and gum from all petrol and diesel engines. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. It removes sludge, thoroughly cleans piston rings and grooves, and upper cylinder area. Prevents corrosion, okay, whatever. So let's try this stuff out and see if it actually does what it says. Ooh, this smells quite a bit different than the fuel injector cleaner. It also looks quite a bit different, it looks more like engine oil. Still, it smells like chemicals, but it is looking more like engine oil. So what piston is this? This is piston two, two. And this is the motor flush. So again, these pistons are quite badly coated. Here's a new one. Comparison. So you guys can see the difference there. We're gonna see how much this cleans up. This is the brand new one that came from BMW. And this is a used one that was in my engine. So let's see how these valves clean up after 24 hours. I'll put that in there. Again, a tiny bit of bubbling there, but nothing significant. All right, so we have all of our contenders here on the shelf and uh, I'm gonna leave these for 24 hours and then come back and we'll take a look. And if not much has happened, we're gonna leave it for another 24 hours. So drop a comment below on which one you guys think is going to win this challenge and actually be able to dissolve some carbon. So for you guys, it'll be just a couple seconds, but let's come back to this and see how everything's doing tomorrow. 24 hours later. So the um, grill foam, you can hear it kind of bubbling away. This one also, you can hear it kind of bubbling away at the bottom there. Um, the anti-carbon, nothing's happening yet. What are the instructions on the anti-carbon? Eliminates severe contaminants, lacquer deposits, the compound is completely safe for motor oil gaskets and seals. 
So it says to leave it in there for 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. So 10 to 15 minutes and it should dissolve some carbon and then you're supposed to like turn on the engine and uh, like blow it out of the carbon, um, blow it out of the spark plug area, but we're not doing that. So ATF, ATF's in there, brake clean, nice and clear still, a little bit of bubbles, just a little bit. Um, the sea foam also, just a tiny bit of bubbling, not much at all. The fuel injector, Fuel injector cleaner still kind of bubbling. And the engine flush. Yeah, not much is going on. All right guys, let's come back to this experiment tomorrow and see which one is doing the best. So it has been about maybe four days um, since I put this all together. Um, so yeah, let's see if uh, this has actually done anything to help actually dissolve the carbon on these valves. So let's get started with number one. So the first one we have was that uh, grill, grill cleaner spray stuff. Just wipe this down. Let's see if it actually did anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna gently brush I mean, it's kind of crumbling a little bit, not very much though. So grill cleaner, that's a bust. I'm just gonna keep that in there. Next one we had was like the kitchen cleaner, kitchen counter, top kind of cleaner, bathroom cleaner, whatever you wanna call it. And big no. This is, nothing's even coming off. All right. So that's a loss. Next one was the anti-carbon. The next one was the anti-carbon um, piston cleaner. So I don't know if you need heat for this to activate, but this is also a big no. I mean, no, it's not really coming off. The next one was uh, ATF. This does have some milky residue in it on the bottom there. It's weird. But also a no, it's not coming off. So we're gonna put that one away. Next one was the brake cleaner. It still looks clean. Nope. Brake clean is a no. And now for the sea foam. Um, doesn't look like it dissolved anything. I don't know, nothing. Next one was the fuel injector. I mean, stuff's flaking off, so, but it's not like it's actually really doing anything. So, hmm. The last one is this uh, engine clean stuff.
Yeah, again, nothing. So I don't know if I've done anything wrong, but uh, like none of these are working out. Now, before the end of the day, I had thought to myself, hey, we should try some brake clean. So I've come back two days in a row to um, actually wet this down because the brake clean evaporates right away. So let's try this. And not really. Yeah, not really. So my experiment was a bust. I don't think there is any good home cleaner stuff laying around that you can use to actually clean off the valves. Maybe if we left it longer than five days, but um, maybe you'd need to go to like a berry chem dip style stuff that's way more corrosive. But yeah, the home available things are actually not that uh, strong. So if you guys found this educational, give the video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're interested in following my N52 rebuild project. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.